I'm Keita from Keita Explorer Photography and I'm here with Black Women Photographers to talk about managing stress which leads to burnout. As we get ready to enter into a new season of the year, we need to talk about how we're managing that stress which ultimately could lead it to burnout as photographers. So today I'm here to give you five tips to help you manage stress, stress as you enter into a new season. Let's talk about them. First, you need to set and stick to your business hours. And why should you do that? Well, first of all, if you stick to your business hours, that means you know for sure your mental capacity is only going to be working from this time to this time. In those time slots, that's when you're working. And when you're outside of them, you are not working. Your brain is turned off and you are outside of that. Keeping that boundary allows for you to not consistently work and just keep going and going until the wheels fall off. Also, when you have those strict work hours, you know outside of those hours, you are not talking to clients whatsoever because your business is closed until the next day. Number two, make sure you block time for yourself. You need to do this. You need to block time to just rest and do nothing. Watch your favorite movie, go to the park, go on a vacation, do something where you can relax and take your time away from your day-to-day -day responsibilities as a photographer. Now, I know there are times of the year we all experience it when you're not as busy. And there's a lot of seasonality to that depending on what type of photography work you're in. So when you're doing that, yes, it can be so stressful that you don't have work coming in, but that's when you do personal projects. Do something still with your camera and pick it up so you can enjoy the moments and actually have a great time. And that personal project could turn into something bigger like a photo book one day, something to sell your photos to a press, a publication. You never know what it may turn into, but doing those personal projects fulfills that void of not being able to conduct shoots during that downtime. Now, most importantly, you need to learn how to say no. And that's kind of hard, especially when you're first starting out as a photographer, because you're like, I wanna try all these different areas of photography and I wanna do it all. No, focus on what you care about, your niche. So if you do not like doing wedding photography, don't do it because you're just going to be mad at yourself, frustrated and stressed because that is not an easy thing to photograph whatsoever. If you love, love, love doing portrait photography, start to build your portfolio, start booking those portrait appointments and start reaching out and getting into to those avenues. Say yes to those things that you love and say no to the things you won't, that you don't love because of course, you're just gonna stress yourself out because you put yourself in a situation you didn't even want to be in in the first place. Lastly, something that you can do to just take some of the responsibility off your back is hire help. If you are doing a lot of photo shoots, you're doing a lot of work with your camera, and maybe you don't like editing so much. If you don't hire an editor, or maybe you need to hire someone to manage your social media or hire someone to, you know, update your website. They don't have to be permanent staff. I know you got to count your coins when you're freelancing and building your photography business, all that. But if you could hire someone every once in a while to just take some of the responsibility off your back, which frees you up to either do more photo shoots or do something you love or just relax. Hiring help definitely helps. <laughs> So thank you so much for tuning in to this informational session. I really hope these tips either remind you or help you manage stress and prevent burnout. So I want to know down below in the comment box, what things do you do to help manage stress and prevent burnout? Do you do some of these things? Are you going to actually try some of these things out? We want to know. Leave that down below in the comment box. Let's have a discussion. And thank you so much for watching. Tune in for the next educational session coming soon.